Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rogue Gallery in beautiful Talakapaki for our 12th live stream presentation. And I am smiling ear to ear because we have some special guests. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. So this is the idea. My neighbor came to me about six months ago and said, you need to do something for the kids. Parents have the kids at home. I love it when they come into the gallery and I can show kids how easy it is to actually sculpt something. So today we have five special guests joining us to sculpt live. And the biggest kid of all, Eric Peterson. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. So now I'm gonna go, Fritz, go to work. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's all first sanitize our hands. So you get my hands. Do it again, please. There you go. <laughs> Good. Do it at fourth time. Ready? You guys go. Okay. Eric, I'll take yours when you're done. Thank you. Now. These are going to be the cleanest hands that have ever sculpted. Exactly kid. right. That's right. Okay, so now masks on. Okay. Okay. So while you guys are doing that, Eric's going to help me put together a little sculpture and we've already set things up a little bit for you guys. So Eric, I'm gonna give you a clump of clay. I'm gonna make you, have you make marbles of every piece of clay I, ha I you give you. Okay. made marbles. I know, but we're gonna do it again. No. Right here. We gotta show the kids out there how to do it, don't we? No. Come on, Caleb. Okay, so now we have our warm clay. Last week, if you remember, I said put this in hot water. It's wax, so it gets nice and soft. We're gonna take a piece. Okay, Eric, there's your first one. Make a marble of that. Make a marble. We better give Caleb one of these to Make a marble out of that, Caleb. There you go. Make that round, buddy. Okay. Make it already this one. Okay. We got Shelby Cube with us, guys, saying good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're already enjoying I it. hope you have your clay. Is that, is that round enough, Ken? That's good. <laughs> All right, okay. so make, make that and that. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Is yours round yet? Okay, so now we're just making yours big round either. balls of clay. Okay. And believe it or not, that's the start of, if I were to sculpt the cat face, I'd start with that, believe it or not. Okay, Eric, how are your marbles going? Pretty are good. they loose? <laughs> okay, there we go. There's two more. Uh, okay. Okay, so here we have these two marbles. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep making marbles. Okay, so we're gonna have one, two, oh, three, okay. four, five marbles. All right. Make them nice and round. Now, why don't you guys come on over here and take a look at what we're gonna do. Ooh, come on whoa. over. Mickey Mouse? We got a Mickey Mouse over here. Oh, we do already. Look at this. Mickey. Show them. Look at Rupert did. There you go. Hold it up with the, have the ears up. There, there you go. go. <laughs> All right. So now, we're gonna take the armature. This is just the ceiling hook. We're gonna put it in here. Gentlemen, we have the Grenners coming in. Saying, oh, good. Saying, let's get crafty. I'm sure these <laughs> kids will put us to shame. I don't know. Pat and Bruce in Austin. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you guys for coming back. All right, so here's the first big. Keep your mask on, bud. Big marble. All right. So, Eric, you know how to put that on? Okay. Perfect. All right, Stay so good. hold that. Okay. Now, all we have here, let's make this a little bit more uniform. Wait. Is marbles, right? Here we go. You tip that toward the camera a little bit. Okay, so somewhere in there, one more marble. So we have five marbles that are substantially smaller than the big one. All right, so this is like a large chicken egg. And these are like, oh, half inch in size. Now, if you were to look at that, and that was the start of the face, 
you would start with the ears. Whoop. Let's put this down here. Okay, one ear. And this is a cat, so he's got pointy ears. Are you guys watching this? Yes. Aren't you putting your ears on? Yes, I'm okay. trying. Okay, okay. Now, we have these three. You guys have these three marbles? There. And, okay, Eric, are you helping him? Yep. Okay. All right, guys. Now he needs a nose. Okay, so do I have a volunteer? Eric Peterson. <laughs> if you come around here. Okay, we'll get you some help here. If you come around. Now, you're the biggest kid here, right? We're all <laughs> yeah, big kids. Yeah. Right? Where would the eyes be? Where would the eyes be? Yeah. Let's see here. How about, how about right here? Now, what about the other end of the pen, too? The other end? Well, can I? I thought sure, I'd do yeah, that. do that. Yeah. Okay, here you go, dear. Whoops. You ready? Let's see. Let's see what you got. All right. And so let's put it on here. Uh -huh. That's the start. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to let you put the ears on. Where do you think the ears would go? Look up here. I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for approval from Ken. Okay. So now, this is what I'm going to send Eric. Good job. See the ears? Now you can put the face on. Good morning from... Uh, Sylvia and Liam, you guys. Triangles. Good morning, guys. Sylvia and Liam. There you go. I'll put triangles these three together. Go up there for the ears. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look, Caleb's getting it. Look at that. Now, now I'm not. we've got a nose right here. Let's put a nose on. It looks like you're doing it. There. So Eric, I'm gonna give you some homework. Take that. Okay. You got about a minute. Show us what you can do in a minute. I have to finish this. You have to try to get as far as you can. So you go over there in your little workstation, <laughs> and you go to work. Do you think, are my eyes a good okay. start? Okay, that's, that's good, yeah. Okay. So that's before. All right, all right. All right. As we know, Eric's multi-talented, patina, sculptor, everything. So let's just see what he can do, right? Okay, guys. Whoop, here we go. Okay, now look at this. Look what Caleb's got already. All right, so Caleb, put a nose on. There's already a nose. Here, how about this one? You do, it. you do it. You do it. You do it. Oh, look at that. Let's see. All right. Good job. Now you get to put the eyes in. Where would the eyes go? Okay. You can make them bigger or you can put pupils in it. You can do anything you want. Ken, we have Megan going. De La Cruz just saying the kids are doing such a great job. They are. Hopefully they're they budding really artists. Are. Look at that. Good job. Okay. Let's turn around. Look at that. That's great. That's fun. Good for you. So now where are the eyes? There, I thought so. And that's the nose? Good deal. Oh, you, better, you better turn that one around and show the camera. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at the sculpting tool Ken left me with yeah. over here. Well, it's a stick I found I on the street. One, I got one sculpting tool to finish this. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. Okay, so. Can I use that? Yeah. yeah well, you can in done. a minute. As soon as it's done. Okay, Caleb, let's see what you got. Wow, that nose. Has that cat been telling lies? <laughs> is that, who is that? Okay, let's see, Asher. Asher, you're doing great. Let's show the camera. Look at that. Let's see. Let's put this. This just, that's right here. Now, look at that. Now, you notice these high tech tools. That's a broken popsicle stick, doesn't take anything. Anything will work. All right. Ken, so I'm kind of going off on my own a little here. Okay, good, good. Just go for it. You got about 10 more seconds. All right. All right, no pressure. How are we doing over here? All right, so let's show. Look at the eyes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see what you got here, honey. That's great. Let's show them. Yeah. There you go. Oh, where's your little mask? You guys have masks on. For, sorry. Let's see. I don't know if it'll fit, but let's try that. There you go. 
Is that gonna be okay? <laughs> Poor thing. All right, let's try putting your mask on. All okay, right, Eric. I'm, I'm about done. All right, so what? what? Did you? Do? <laughs> what do you oh what do you my think? God! Look at that. I went off script just a little. I'm Some, telling you. Somehow I have an extra marble. Is that? Did well, I, you better. Did I mess something You better up? put it on somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that that looks familiar. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I told you he was great. <laughs> The biggest kid of all. Look, you, can you tell that I have modeled my sculpting style off of Ken? <laughs> and Ken, all that I could hardly see because my glasses oh, are... Oh, your glasses are fogging. Fogging. Well, that's a new technique we should yeah. try. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Fogged up. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. All the big kids and small kids at home, you can watch this if you want to rerun and show how we started this whole process. Why um, show you? What's, Show what? your kids this. Good job, Caleb. Even if they don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Asher, do you have anything to say? No? <laughs> okay. What do you think, Rue? Final Was word? Was that fun? Yeah. All right. Ingrid? Was that fun? <laughs> that was fun. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Red Rock TV, this would not be happening if it were not for Red Rock TV. As I said before, one phone call when we had this whole concept of doing a live stream is all I had to make. Lee, Randy, and everybody there with Red Rock TV has made this possible, so I applaud you guys. We feel like we're in great hands, so thank you so much. So last week we watched the finishing touches of my doing Simba and actually cutting it apart for the mold maker. So during the week we've been checking the progress of Jeff Christensen the first and one of the most important artists in the whole casting process. So we're going to close by showing you about a four minute segment of what has happened this week in his studio. You can watch the whole, I think five minutes on our website, we'll be posting it. And so bless you guys, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week. Oh, and next week, Dane Chinook, our painter is going to be here painting in the courtyard. He's going to have two sessions, two Saturday sessions. So please join us for that. Dane is an incredible artist, a great guy. So I hope you can join us next week. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Eric, is that for sale? <laughs> <laughs> next, we take a brand new brush, just a pure bris bristle brush, and we're going to move over to our uh, lion's head here. Even though this is, the clay is relatively, um, well, it, it's, it's kind of cool right now, so it's not very soft, but we still want to be very, very gentle not to disturb the texture. So when I'm brushing this on, the bristles aren't really touching uh, the piece. It's the, it's, it, all we're doing is laying this mold material on here right now. And, um, and of course, I'll do the best I can to get it into all the spots with the brush, but later on I'm coming back with a, an air hose with about 20 pounds of air pressure, and that's going to blow it into areas that it may not have gotten into. It'll force it into the recesses. It'll get it into all the detail, all the texture, and, um, and then sometimes I have to come back with another brush, um, and I'll see even the when the air... Um, displaces the mold material a little bit. Uh, I'll see areas where even the air didn't blow it into so I'll, I'll push it in with the brush but by the time we get done with the coat absolutely everything has rubber on it. We call it rubber it's actually just mo a silicone mold material. I know there will be areas like the in the nostrils and in the eyes by the time I blow with the air hose You'll, I'll see areas where the mold material did not get. And especially with delicate areas like um, in these ears here, you know, we got these kind of feathery uh, parts here that, um, that we do not want to damage because that's certainly a, a good part of the composition of the piece. So we want to maintain all the little things and not mush them with a brush. 
Now with all these parts that I've cut off, later on I'm going to be coming back um, after I've put a few coats of rubber on here, I'm going to put a shim across here that will have keys in it that will key the two halves of the mold together. It'll actually be what divides the mold in half. I put these up on a, on a pour spout. This green clay down here is a actual pour spout. I've done that with all the parts. Um, that not only supports the piece, but it's, um, it also um, uh, is what the what will be pouring the wax through and then later on it gets cut off during the uh, touch-up process and this wall that I put around here this is um, helps to hold the mold onto the mother mold that'll be a, another process you'll all get to see later on <laughs> 